All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go over what are canonical tags and canonical URLs in SEO, what part they play, what you need to do with them, and how to actually implement them. So canonical URLs are the main URL for a particular page. So each page on the website has a range of different URLs that could all lead to it. So for instance, you've got the HTTP version, the HTTPS version, the www version, the non www version, the intermixing of all of those different four together. And technically all of these are different versions of a page, but they all have exactly the same content. And so in order for Google to know what is the proper page, they have to select one of the URLs, which is the main one that they want to display, which is what they refer to as the canonical URL. Now, another instance where you would need canonical URLs is when there are pages with very similar or the same content. So an example of that would be like e-commerce collections pages where they list out all the products and they have multiple pages. So you can do like page one, page two, page three, etc. But ultimately these are all the same page. It's just that they display several different products. Now there would make no sense for Google to index every one of those pages and just have, let's say you got men's running shoes, page one, page two, page three, page four on their index. It just doesn't make sense why you would do that. So what they will do is they will usually just index the first page, which is the canonical page. And so that's how that works and what its purpose is. And basically the canonicals just prevent duplicate content from being indexed in Google, which they don't want. So which URL is the canonical? Typically, if you don't specify which URL is the canonical, Google is just going to decide which one it is based on a couple of factors. One, which is going to be which one they think the site wants to be the canonical. So what they'll do is they'll typically look at the internal links, which page they go to, backlinks and things like that to decide which one the site would prefer. Let's say menu items as well. And then the second one is going to be which one is the best for the user. And then alternatively, you can use canonical tags to tell which page you want to be the main one. So alternatively, you can use canonical tags to tell Google which page you want to be the main one. So when do you need to use canonical tags? So for most websites, you usually don't need to manually implement canonical tags for every single page. It's typically done pretty much automatically. So like all the HTTPS, HTTP version, etc. as long as you've got all the redirects working correctly and you're always using one instance of the URL, whichever one you decide, typically speaking, you'll be fine. However, there are a couple of instances where you need to do it. So for instance, if you're consolidating similar content onto one main page, you will want to canonicalize the main page now as the main one. If the wrong URL is indexing in Google Search Console. And so what happens is if, if you go to Google Search Console, and we'll open up the pages indexed. What can happen is you can see here an alternative page with proper canonical. And what this will tell you is that you can see here, these ones are not indexed because the proper canonical is the actual main page, the about page. However, if you see the wrong URLs in here, the one you actually want to show up on Google, then you would want to fix this issue and make sure it's pointing to the correct page you actually want to implement. Another one is if you have too many pages with near identical content, you're going to have to put canonicals to show which main page you actually want to be indexed. And another example is if you're split testing multiple pages and you want Google to ignore the other split tests and just show your main page, you would put canonical links on all of those split tests pointing to the main page and then Google will just theoretically ignore those and just index the main one. So how do you actually implement the canonical tag? So what you would do is you want to take the following code and put it in the head of all the pages that are not the canonical tag. So what that means is let's say you've got this is the link here, you got link rel equals canonical and then href and then here is where you would paste the link to the main page that you want to be the canonical page where it says link.com. And then this tells Google that this page is the main page and not to consider the one it's on. And then you would paste that in the head section of each page. So you need to go into the code and just paste it in the head above the content. And then it will tell Google what it needs to know. Now, what you need to be aware of is Google won't necessarily honor the request. It's just a, telling them which you'd prefer, but most of the times they will, and you should be fine by putting this code in. So that's basically it for canonical tags that's pretty much everything you need to know to implement them if you have any questions put them in the comments below and i will answer them otherwise if you'd like me to coach you on how to do seo and google ads for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to do the google ads or seo for your business go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there catch you on the next one